What's going on, fifth grade, fifth grade teacher, Mr. Dooley here? Welcome. We are on week two, and this is day number one. So we are doing reading, just so we're clear about what video you're watching right now. We are going to be going through reading, and because it's a different week, I get to handle a different part of the reading. This week, they've, been, they've given me fluency, and they've given me phonics. So we are going to go through, just like we did last time, except different room, different background, different kind of, give different kind of lesson, no matter. The first part of this week, I'm going to read you a story. It's called Night of the Twisters. You can find the story on Pearson Realize, and I'm also going to put a JPEG picture of it on school. So you've got two ways to access it, so you should have no excuses when trying to find the story. It's everywhere. Here we go. Night of the Twisters by Ivy Rupp. Tornadoes have been spotted near Dan's hometown. His mother decides to check on an elderly neighbor, Miss Smiley, leaving Dan and his friend Arthur to protect Dan's baby brother, Ryan. They seek shelter in the basement's bathroom. We heard it next. The lull, the deadliest quiet ever. That one that makes you think something's about to explode. And then the heat of the room built until I couldn't get my breath. Everything was on this. Then I began to hear the noises. A chair scraped me across the kitchen floor upstairs. Your mom's back, Arthur said, pushing at my leg. I knew it wasn't my mother moving the chair. The noises got worse. It seems as Every piece of furniture was moving around up there. Big, heavy things, smashing into each other. Things that you'd need at least two people to carry. A window popped. Crash! Another! Glass shattered everywhere. Ten seconds more, and that howling, shrieking tornado was upon us. The blanket! I screamed at Arthur's ear. We covered ourselves, hands shaking wildly. I wasn't worrying about my mom then, or my dad, or Miss Smiley. Just us, Ryan and Arthur, and me, huddled together there on the shower floor. The roaring had started somewhere to the east, then came bearing down on us like a hundred freight trains. Only that twister didn't move on. It stationed itself right overhead, making the loudest noise I'd ever heard, whining worse than any jet. There was a tremendous crack, and I felt the wall shudder behind us. I knew then our house was being ripped right apart. Suddenly, chunks of the ceiling were falling on our heads. We'll all be buried, was all I could think. There was nothing but terror as the roar of the tornado went on and on. I thought the world was coming to an end, and so would we, any minute. Then I felt Ryan's fat fingers close around one of mine. He pulled my hand to his mouth and started sucking on my finger. It made me cry. The tears ran down my cheek and onto his head. With the whole world blowing to pieces around us, Ryan took my hand and made me feel better. Our tornado's forward speed is generally 30 to 50 miles an hour, a meteorologist had once told us. Our tornado's forward speed was zero. Five minutes or ten. We couldn't tell. So that is the story that I just have read. And it's good. Again, that is Night of the Twisters. There are four words that it highlights. These are four of your amazing words. We've got roaring. Again, that is roar ring. One more time. Roar ring. Roar ring. If I use my chin trick that Miss Solly showed us last week, you can see that it has two syllables. I'm going to write a star and then write the number two to remind you. Roar, ring. Roar, ring. Awesome. Next we have twister. Again, that's twister. Huh. Looks like we also have a two-syllable word with twister. Again, that chin trick. Double check yourself. Twister. Next we have stationed. Again, stay shin. How many? Stay shin. That's two Again, now I know already, just looking at meteorologists, we've got a little bit more than just two syllables here. Meteorologist. Let's see. Me T your ologist. Me T your ologist. Holy moly, boys and girls. That's six syllables. And if you're thinking about this when I'm putting the dips in the word, you don't have to do that. That is just my way of knowing where that word dips and where you have to count a syllable. Me, T, er, all, o, gist. So I counted six. Me, T, er, all, o, gist. Six syllables. We're going to go over more of these amazing words later on, but for now, I'm going to leave you with this idea. What have you ever been, or when have you ever been in a situation where the weather made you scared? Have you ever been in a thunderstorm or a hurricane where you could literally hear the wind roaring? Have you ever heard a meteorologist here, a weather guy, if you don't know, 
mentioned that there might be twisters or tornadoes on the ground. Have you ever been in an area where that's happened? I'm from Tuscaloosa, and on April 27th, 2011, a huge tornado came through my hometown, so I can relate to this personally. But as you're thinking and as you complete that Google Forms assignment, which by the way is going to be just saying these words aloud, give me a thumbs up if you can, and then typing in the box that word for me. Really simple, but real quick there at home, thumbs up or down if you've ever been in a situation like this. Doesn't have to be a tornado, could be a hurricane, really bad weather, so give me that. And I'll end you with this. These stories, these amazing words, we're going to keep building on this list. Make sure that you are able to use that chin tool like Miss Sally was telling you, like I was telling you, to find the amount of syllables. That concludes day one. Hope you guys are doing all right. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.